Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. Today I am going to be demonstrating the hippo transfer. And it's going to be in a pumpkin DIY challenge hosted by Sonia from Domestic Diva. Okay, this is a water slide decal paper from Hippo. It's available on Amazon, and I'll have a link in my description box. And here I am printing it out. I printed out some Christmas and some Halloween. Now I had to take them outside. Of course, the wind had to be blowing that day. And uh, I'm spraying them with a clear sealer. You spray them once and you wait 10 minutes. And then you spray them again and you wait 10 minutes and spray them a third time. And wait 10 minutes and then they're ready to go. And I actually did mine weeks ago when they first came and just haven't had a chance to use them yet. So I'm tearing apart a pumpkin that was on a stand from Dollar Tree. And even though it had the fabric on it, look at all the glitter on there that I'm scraping off. Unbelievable. Getting out my little vacuum and helping me clean up. So I'm using a home decor chalk. It's a plaid product and I'm a plaid ambassador. Love my plaid. And I'm giving it a good coating. And I do both of my pumpkin projects alongside each other. Here I have a styrofoam pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I'm using the same color but I'm putting it into the grooves of the pumpkin. And I let both dry, and then I go over them a second time. Now I've got out some plaster and I'm painting the pumpkin itself. I'm just kind of dabbing it on and covering up a little bit of the grooves because I want the darker color to come through. But it doesn't have to be the main feature that stands out. finally realized to push the plate away and let the people see what you're doing, dummy. Jeez. My excuse is I get into it and I forget. It takes a pretty good amount of paint to coat these styrofoam pumpkins. I mean, they're not the best in the world, but hey, They'll do. Us YouTubers, we make them work. Just pretty much trying to cover up the orange. Now I'm using just a little bit on the outside edges. And the inside rings of the pumpkin.
And I'm just using my cutter to cut these apart, showing you that I have two different kinds, the Halloween and the Christmas ones. Now, I will admit, it's probably some of my fault too, and there's a real learning curve as far as I, I'm concerned. Um, I've seen other people do the water slide transfers, and they've done a perfect job, but I don't know if that's their first time doing them, and if they had a learning curve to learn how to use them. But I've watched enough people lately that I would have thought I was doing it right. But I did figure out it takes just a little bit more to get it wet and let it soak a little bit longer. It says, I think, for 5 to 10 seconds. I think I'd let it soak just a little bit longer than that. They, they come in really handy for having all kinds of color and detail that you don't get when you're using a cutting machine. So they're fun in that way. I'm not sure if I'd do a bigger one than what I've done. I guess I could try it once I get more used to it. They did send me some transfer paper for iron on. And I really like this little one, but like I said, I thought it was going to curl up and then you just leave it for a couple of seconds and then it was able to put it on. But I really messed it up. It wasn't sliding off like it was supposed to. And so I peeled it off and then it got all wrinkled up upon itself. And I'm being honest with you. I want you to see the mistakes I made to start out with. Everybody else, as I've seen, they've done perfect right away. Well, it was just too messed up. I just had to throw it away. I just couldn't straighten it out. And like I said, I like that little transfer. See, it just, it just wasn't working. So, all right, I've had it. Could only mess with it for so long. And I, I don't give up easy. I will keep trying. So, okay, let's try this again. You get it wet with your finger a little bit and you put the decal in and it curls up right away. And that seems like you can flatten it out a little bit. And this one I messed up a little bit on, but not as bad as the other one. It just took me a few minutes to get them started to slide. So that's why I think you need to leave it in with the water just a little bit longer than... See, I got it, but it wrinkled just a bit, so now I'm straightening it out. And I had some of them crack a little bit where they came loose in one area. But look, I'm getting it straightened out. So if you get it and you're having a little bit of problem, message me and I'll help you along with it because you can see I had a little bit of problem. And when I review something, I want to be totally honest. I, I don't want to make it all hunky-dory and everything's all wonderful and great. So now I'm realizing maybe it has to stay in there a little bit longer. Okay, a little bit longer. And I did crack this one a little bit, but that's okay because they're kind of an old looking uh, style of Halloween. And uh, so it looks kind of vintage. So if it doesn't start coming off right away for you, I'd say put it back in the water for a little bit. Maybe it's because I didn't use mine right away. And you have to have a inkjet printer. 
Oh, excuse me. So see, you can see I'm playing with that one in the water a little bit longer. And each one I did, I felt like I got a little better at. And you rub them out just a little bit, make sure there's no bubbles. And then you tap it with um, a paper towel or cloth, a Kleenex or something. See, it looks pretty cool now. And I will be showing you how to do these watercolor leaves really soon. These are wood. And I did a technique of like watercolor on them. That's one of my solo wood flowers that I dyed. Little acorn I think I got off something from Dollar Tree. And needed a little something more. What did it need? Guess I could have used a twine bow, but... Yeah, this bright yellow solo wood flower. It looks awesomeness. There, doesn't that look cute? Okay, now for the witch pumpkin. I had this champagne cork I used as a stem, and I'm using my tin snips to snip off this wire from uh, Dollar Tree. I kind of cut through it and then just bend it back and forth to get the rest snipped off. And it's just a little pick, but I left everything on there because it fit on there just nicely. right along the pick and put it down. Okay, look at how cute that one is. Now, let me tell you about Sonia, the domestic diva. Sonia has so many channels now. Home, cooking, cleaning. Oh my goodness, this woman does it all. And she used to home, run a home daycare center till recently. So go check Sonia out. She was our host today. Got these little candle holders at Dollar Tree. So I thought, well, it'd be fun to put these little transfers on to see how they worked. When it dries, you really can't see the paper around it where the whole transfer is. I love this little owl. I think he's so cute. Owls are cute, though. We used to have a big owl that sat on, on a telephone pole right by our door years ago. You'd just kind of stick your head out the door and listen to him. Woo-hoo-hoo. Woo-hoo-hoo. It was pretty cool. And then we saw him one time, and I swear he was at least two feet tall. It was huge. Okay, now just give it a little tap, tap, tap there. See, they have a little translucent look to them. Uh, 
And I got these little houses at, uh, I think it was Target Dollar Spot last year. Now this one, I'm just going to put, put a new paper in my finger sander and I sanded the words and most of the color off. I surprised when I start sending the sides and blue peeked through. But that's okay. Okay, we're gonna put this little ghosty on here. Wiping it down again and oh, yeah, look, he's sliding off it's much better. Okay, getting it wet and he's sliding off much better. I don't know if it would have been better to put some white behind him or not. But he looks does look kind of cool. And here is the finished candles and the pumpkin. And the candles look really awesome, don't they? And here is the other candle and the little houses and the pumpkin. So you can see the ghost, but not real well. I may take a little paint on him. And I thought everything came out really cute. So I say thank you so much to Sonia from the Domestic Diva DIY. You really need to go check out her channel because if you haven't, I don't know where you've been. She's an awesome lady. And I will be seeing you very soon. Bye for now. Go out and spread some kindness.